Hello and welcome back to the Guillotine Channel, your source for farm to table guillotine content. Jake, I'm starving. We've been chopping all day and I have quite an appetite brewing. Now I saw a lot of comments saying that we should try making a sandwich with this guillotine. Let's try it out. And you might think that you have better tools to cut a ham sandwich with, but we would beg to differ around here. Now you might be using, you might be using a, you might be using a whisk. You might be using a knife. Freaking knife? <laughs> oh, wow. But the best thing about a guillotine is that it can make an entire ham sandwich with one simple chop. All you need is your ham, your cheese, and two loaves of bread because you're only gonna slice once, meaning that you need to get two slices. There's a couple guys in here, we're gonna make everyone lunch. That sounds like a great idea. Hopefully this theory is correct and the guillotine proves to be the world's most powerful culinary tool. So as you might have seen in various cooking shows, the plating can be the most important part. We're gonna do some low plating to catch any chunks that might dribble down. Oh man, dude, you're making me hungry with this guillotine action. Randy, you have a sandwich coming right up. I think we're in business. Let's get cooking. Ready. All right, and sandwich in three, two, one. Dude. It worked, dude. Look at that we got cheese. We got look at this ham. cheese slice. Look at how clean that is. We got one. Ooh, look at the way that sliced that ham. It's a perfect little ham slice. In every commercial kitchen, oh, yes. they're gonna have a guillotine. Look here, we got it, dude. Look. We just go like this. Lay a nice slice of ham on the base, and we stack it. Look, it's <laughs> perfect. Actually, not bad. It's the cheese. The cheese helps. Oh, put that down. I think the only thing left for us to do is make some sandwiches for our friends. We got all these hungry people. I say let's feed them. I got three orders, Jake. Three orders, hot and ready, coming up. Got it. All right, man, let her rip. Three, two, one. Oh, we did get a piece on the plate. How about it? Got a cheese, we got a bread. Here, you take this one. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. That was great. First time. That was great. Mm, look at those. Dude, we still got like 70% log left. Put it up, Jake. Need that. Thank you, sir. That's thank you. Oh, there's ham on there. Yeah, Extra. yeah it comes on there. <laughs> right, dude, I think we're ready to serve these to the boys. Bye. You don't have to get it. It's like Mima made them back in the day. Jockrant. Jockrant. Oh, what? Jockrant? Here, let me take that for you. Mm. You know it's oh, lunch no time. Way. Is Wait, no, I want this one. You brought yeah, you no. ham and cheese sandwiches, Wait, guys. No, this is the same blade that touched laptop particles, right? Dude, cool. That's for making me a sandwich. Dude, I love sourdough. <laughs> how is it, Clint? Like, how many Michelin stars would you give us? I'd give it one star. A little, little taste. My finger, dude. There's a freaking piece of plastic shard in my mouth. Wait, are you for real? Are you 100% serious? I wouldn't eat that. This whole thing's a joke. I wouldn't. Dude. I don't know what particles. Man, I was hungry. Obviously, this was a huge success. Mm. Now we got a lot of stuff to chop on this channel. We would love to hear your thoughts on what we should chop next or what foods we should prepare next. Because honestly, we might have the newest, hottest cooking channel on our hands. Who knows? Leave a comment down below.